okay so let's create a script for completing our objectives so let's name this as objectives complete open this up right here we will be messing around with the UI so at the top make sure that you type using Unity Engine UI after that let's remove all of that let's create a header and the header will be by the name of objectives to complete okay and right here we need a reference to our objective so we will say public text objective 1 then we can do the same for the objective 2 3 and 4 after this we will call this objective complete on different scripts okay so we need occurrence for this so we will say public static objectives complete occurrence and now in the awake function we will say occurrence equals to this now let's create a function which will be by the name of get objectives done and in here we will pass a bool by the name of objective one and then we will pass a bool by the name of object objective two or obj two and the same for objective three and four after that we will say that if the objective one is set to true okay if that is set to true then what we want to do this is basically this first objective so if that objective is complete if we find the key and open the gate then what we want to do we will say that objective one dot text we will first of all change the text so we will say one dot key picked up we will change the text to this as you can see right here the text is find key to open the gate so when we find the key and then we open the gate we will change this text to this one and also we want to change the color of it so we will say objective one dot color and we will change the color to green after that we will add a else condition and in the else it means that if we didn't complete it, that objective, we didn't pick up the key or open the gate. So then we want to show the same text and we want the text color to be white. Okay. This as it is. So as you can see, it shows right here that find key to open the gate. So when the object is not completed, we will show the same text in the same color. So let's type objective one dot text and the text will be equals to one dot find key to open the gate okay and let's change the color of the objective one so we will say objective one dot color equals to color dot white and in the same manner we can do the other one then we will say that if the objective or obj2 is equals to true then what we will do if the object 2 is being completed then the object 2 we will change the text to computer is offline we will set the color to clean and it is basically an indication that yes this object is completed and else if that object is not completed then we want to show the same text and the same color so the text was shut down the computer system and the color was white now we can do the same for the objective 3 and 4 so 
we will say that if the object is now completed then we will show that generator is offline and if it is not then we will show that shut down both of the generator let's do the same for the objective 4 so right here we will say if objective 4 is true then we will show mission completed color green and if it is not we will show this text and the color will be white this is basically a simple if else condition now our objectives are completed but now where we want to call this if else condition okay so the first object is find key and open the gate so we will complete this first one when we open up the gate so for that let's open up the script which is this one key get regulator and if you scroll down right here when we open up the gate okay and this open gate is set to true after that we want to complete our obj1 so we will say objectives complete dot occurrence dot get objective done this is the function which we created right here and since this is the obj1 it will be by default set to false and as you can see we need to set this to true in order to complete the objective so when we open up the gate it means that the first objective is completed right here we will set the first goal to true and all of the other bool which is obj2 obj3 obj4 we will set all of them to false it means that only our first object is now completed which is the obj1 and if it is completed it will show this text and color green okay now let me simply copy this the next object is obj2 and it is right here which is computer is offline so we need to open up the computer script and right here as you can see we have to leave a comment for ourselves so just paste that and this is uh, so when our object 1 completed then we will also complete our object 2 as well so now the obj2 is set to true and if it is set to true it will show this text and the color will be green okay now our second object is completed now let's check the third one it is the generator is offline so let's open up the generator turn off right here we leave a comment for ourselves so just paste that and okay in the second one true now let's set the third one true as well so now three of our objects are now completed now let's move towards the fourth one which is the obj4 which is find vehicle and escape from the facility so if we open up the final object right here we leave a comment for ourselves paste that second object is completed third one is also completed let's complete the fourth one now four of our objects are completed and when the fourth one complete we will simply end the game okay so now let's save all of this click on this objectives let's attach the script which is objectives completed let's provide our four objectives so right here this is the first one there is the second one here is the third and the fourth okay provide all of the fourth objectives or how many objectives you have in your mission and let's disable that now let's play the game let me lock the cursor okay now the cursor is locked now let's run towards the key pick up the key and open up the gate so let's run towards the key now let me click on the M button and you will notice that none of our object is completed as you can see so let's open up the key sorry uh, pick up the key and you can see our object is still not completed we need to open up the gate so if 
we come right here let me show you the object it is this one okay now if we open up the gate and as you can notice now the color changed to green and also the text is changed to keep it tough okay it looks beautiful now the second object is to shut down the computer system here is the computer system so let's get closer to the computer system let's press the Q button okay it shows that computer disable and as you can see computer is offline now our next objective is to disable both of these generators so let's run towards this generators let's press the Q button and let's press the Q button right there and now as you can notice it shows that generator is offline and yes the generators are offline the animation is stopped and also the sound effect now let's close the door okay the door is closed now and if you see the objectives three of them are now completed now let's complete our fourth one and actually when we complete our fourth objectives we will be simply directed back to the main menu and actually we will create an end game menu for our game so when we come right here and when we press the F button like that okay then we want to create some other menu okay and which will be the, our end game menu and in that menu we will give an option to play this mission again and if you guys have many missions in your game then you can play simply the next mission we don't have a mission for now okay we don't have the mission 2 we just only have one mission and actually now you know how to create missions and maps okay so you can do that by yourself now and what we can do when we complete our final object we want to show the end game menu so if we go inside the asset scenes right here we have this menu let's simply duplicate this and let's rename this to end game menu scene let's open this up and game menu scene we have a canvas we have a title up there we have the buttons let's check out the buttons okay we have the script and everything attached right here we want only the play button so we will actually remove the other button oh let's just leave it as it is let's remove this button right here and actually select both of them now and move them right here somewhere ok and then let's click on this number plate so in the name plate and it says ghost let's duplicate that let's change the phone size to 10 let's move this one down below like that let's actually resize it and we will type created by v code let's move this somewhere right here okay move the phone size 15 Let's move it to bottom center and now let's move it up here. Okay, let's move this the name plate, the play button and quit button to the bottom center to the uh, middle center okay, like that. And actually we can just leave that there click on that let's move them right there
okay and now it looks good and the last thing which we can do right here is to add animation to our this ghost text okay so first of all let's open up the menu okay the menu in here let's go on the main plate right here we will create an animation for this so create click on the animation let's go inside the assets then animations let's create an animation for the name plate click save and you can see the name plate controller is added now let's record an animation and what we will do in this animation the first one we will leave the color as it is and then when we move right here we will change the color to black and that's it okay it will show the animation like that let's stop it let's move this to right there and now it will play the animation slowly like that okay you can actually move this to three seconds if you want the animation to be more slowly like that okay now you can actually now copy this copy component open up the end game menu right here click on the main plate and actually you can click like right there and click on paste component as well we have the name plate on this as well now the animation actually and it will play like that and now you can click on this build settings we have the menu we have the mission now let's add the end game menu okay now let's go inside the mission actually let's open up the menu now let's play the game and you will notice the animation will be playing as you can see if you click on play we are inside our mission now 